In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AI image restyle in Kittle, which allows you to take an image that you have either generated or perhaps an element or an illustration or a piece of text, really anything, select it and then give our AI a prompt to turn it into any other style. So let's hop in and check out how to do that right now. So if you didn't catch my previous video on Flux, I had a really great time testing AI to the limit in Kittle and I asked ChatGPT to give me a bunch of prompts. I tested them to the max. These are really, really in-depth prompts, as you can see right here, did a great job, all generated in Kittle. Go check out that video if you haven't already. But what I'm gonna be doing is restyling these images, as well as some pieces of text up here to get a different style. To do that, we're gonna go over here into the Kittle AI panel, and we are gonna go to this one. This is new next to it. It says restyle, change an image and style, and keep the same content. So what we can do is either we can upload something or we can just select an image on the canvas. For this one, I'm going to select this beautiful snow leopard in this kind of anthropomorphic style that I was extremely surprised. Now you can choose the styling strength here. I generally always just go to high because I just want it to be the max of whatever I'm describing or selecting. I would rather it just be completely different. If you pick style strength low, it's going to retain a a little bit more of what the current image looks like. Now we have a couple of community styles here. We're still growing this. So this isn't as robust as maybe some of the other AI features that we have. So I think your strong suit is to actually just describe the new style. So I'm gonna describe a clean line anime manga style drawing similar to mainstream animes that you see on streaming services studio ghibli colors all right let's see what happens i'm gonna click generate and we're just gonna be yeah surprised whoa okay i love this so this is the strength of restyle because it has kept the overall composition, right? The head, the fur, the jacket, all the same, but it's turned it into like a really thick kind of, looks like maybe either bleach or Jujutsu Kaisen or something like that, that has this kind of very streaky style. And as you can see, a lot of the texture is now flat in this kind of drawn style, as opposed to a more realistic style, which is the prompt that I gave it before. So let's go back. I'm gonna go ahead and click a community style, just to see what happens. Let's click this um, like marble looking one and I'm just gonna see what happens. So the idea here is that it's gonna turn it into kind of like a marble looking sculpture. Ooh, okay, that is super cool. So yeah, definitely turned it into some marble here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. But it still kept everything overall the same. So you have the same details, but it's just kind of like been turned into a marble sculpture. Now, this works with more than just images. I'm doing it with images for the moment. Then we're going to talk about some text and how to do that. But it'll also work for an entire template, which I will also show you. Let's go ahead and go on to this one. And instead of, let's see, let's just try this skull that's really slimy. I just want to see what happens when I turn this into that, just to see what happens. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, it definitely kept everything the same. It just changed the style completely. Look, the lantern's still there. All of the branches and things are all still there. The pathway's still there. It just changed it completely to this very like vibrant light fluorescent vibe, which I think is absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and try our next one. So this one, it's so good. I'm not entirely sure what I would really want to turn it into. Maybe we can try like, let's see, watercolor painting with splashes and drips of paint, bright blue and pink colors. Yeah, let's just see what happens. All right, let's grab this and drag it over here. Whoa, cool rendering of watercolor. Like it really did turn it into a watercolor. Now, I've never tried to do an image that has text in it to convert it to another style. So there's still some sort of this like welcome to the future, but there's now an S there. So obviously what this is doing is really just trying to translate into a new style. And so this kind of all got drippy and, and stuff. What I might do is go here to the eraser tool, turn on erase and fill. And then what I can do is kind of just 
do my best to fill in this area so that I, you know, I could put my own text on there, right? I could try to fill this in with just adding a font, making it maybe script or making it like a bubble letter one that looks like, yeah. And so now it just looks like dripped watercolor. And so that's actually kind of a really cool hack that I just discovered. <laughs> All right, so now that we tested it with some images, what we're gonna do now is test it with some text. Now, you can actually select text by itself and you can see it kind of adds a faux background to it. In my experience, I have found it best to actually have them on an artboard or as an image because again, this is image restyle, not really vector restyle at the moment. However, even though this is, you know, vector type points on an artboard, when when you select the entire artboard, you can see now that it actually qualifies it or it thinks, for example, that it is an image. So let's just use this one. We're going to go with the Kittle logo here, and I'm going to see what happens if I select this marble one. Again, I could type one in if I want, but we're going to go ahead and generate to see what happens with text. Whoa, that is super duper cool. I promise you this is way better than just selecting the text by itself. Now, obviously this is an image. So what you are gonna have to do is if you wanna use this independently, you can go over here to remove background. And then what that's gonna do for you is go ahead and boom, give you a seamless transparent image. Let's go back and let's select our next one. So you see, I have some like little keywords here to try like spooky and vintage. So with this one, let's try typing one in. So we're gonna go with 3D lettering style with greens and orange colors, slimy, drippy texture. And let's just see what happens. I like that a lot. Okay, so it took our word. It kept it exactly the same. It spelled exactly the same. We got the oranges and the greens. We got the letter embellishing the same. And then we don't really have like drippy or slimy yet. I may have to tweak the prompt a little bit. I was kind of thinking more like this. Um, I was just trying to go off of this without having it be the skull per se. Um, let's go ahead and try this one that already has like skulls and pumpkins and stuff in it just to see if we like this one better. Ooh, I like this. It added the word Halloween to it, so I don't necessarily need it to say Halloween, but I do really, really like how it added all of these little pieces and little swirls and like a bat and things to the word spooky. So that's really cool. Let's go back. We're going to try elegant with a different one, and let's go with this one with the wings. I don't know. It looks looks kind of elegant like that. I'm going to go ahead and delete that just in case. Click this, generate, and let's see what it does with the elegant text. Ooh, I like that a lot. Let's see. So it is definitely kind of etched a little bit. It's definitely 3D. Really interesting what it decided to do with the E here. Everything else is kind of intact. Yeah, I like that. But it's just, it's interesting what it decides to do and what it decides not to do. I'm going to click vintage art, which is a style that I uploaded. And we're going to see what happens here. Ooh. Okay, yeah. So definitely a lot more etched. There's more kind of like hatched or wood etched or stitched engraving going on right here. So that's pretty cool. I think maybe I like this one a little bit better. But the last thing we are going to try out is a full template. So we're going to try taking an entire template and changing it to something else just to see what might happen. So let's give it something maybe a little bit challenging to figure out. Okay, yeah, let's try. This one looks very robust. <laughs> This one's pretty robust with the snake and everything. So that's a lot going on. We're gonna go ahead and select that, go back to image restyle, boom. You can see it's right there. And then let's try, ooh, pixel art. What is it gonna do? I have zero clue. True test, pushing Kittle to the max right now. To the max! Ooh, I like the illustration of the snake now in the pixel format. That is super cool. I love the pixel bottle here. It kind of removed our text no, I didn't. It, it kept it there. It's just turned into kind of blocky stuff. What I would probably do is add text over here. I would like type in pixel. And if I really wanted to make that snake a pixel, I probably would have just deleted all of the other stuff. And then I would add my own pixel art right here. That is super, super neat. Let's see. Let's decide. I don't know. Let's try something else. Let's go back to that one, which is already selected. And let's go with... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go with, shoot, vintage photo. Why not? Turn it into a complete vintage photo. I wonder if it's going to make the snake real or not. It did. It made the snake real. Um, that is insane. It actually looks 
pretty good and intact. It did decide to keep some of the stars and stuff. Yeah, and the text maybe is a little bit wonky, but generally not bad. <laughs> that is so interesting. I love how this changed to fire coming out of this potion bottle. Again, probably what I would do is I would go in here and I would just delete all of this text if I knew I was gonna be using the text again, or I might delete some of these things, and then I can go over here, go back, and I can actually choose whatever kind of style I want. So obviously this is an extremely new feature as of mm, January 2025. So depending on when you are watching this, it's probably even better. So I want to know what you all think down in the comments. Again, if you didn't check out my recent video on Flux, that is the newly integrated AI system in Kittle where you can switch back and forth between Dolly and Flux. I prefer Flux personally. And now with the imagery style combined, you can really get some really cool remastered or iterated versions of what you want. So give it a try and then come back and in the comments let me know what you think about it have you found success are there things there are elements that need to be better what do you think of the style strength between low medium and high as well as the description versus styles let us know all of that feedback so we can iterate and make it even better now don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel so that you don't miss any videos or updates just like this you can just click that button it takes one second down there at the bottom don't forget to like the video as well and we will see you in the next one